Right now, 14 pounds and 8 ounces. And then from Bettendorf, Iowa, she is a great Chabola. <laughs> Lucia Fisher. Chubby, chubby, chubby. <laughs> chubby, chubby. Chubby. He's got two devil horns. I put two devil horns on Why would you put devil horns on your daddy? <laughs> I see that. Why would you do that to your poor daddy? Well, I get excited for him because this is, you know, it's been his dream to be a UFC fighter, and he finally achieved that. You know, now his goal is to be the champion one day. And she's excited about it too. You know, if he starts getting a little punch crazy, though, you know, getting loopy from being punched too much, then I might want him to stop. But you know, for now, he's he's doing good. I did not tell Tim about the crossbow. I said you bought a bow and arrow. I said you bought a bow and arrow. He goes, no, you didn't. He bought a crossbow because uh, because he's already got a bow and arrow. No, no, I'm saying. Me and Josh did on one. And a raccoon cage. What the hell? Such a cage, though? Jason Black drill. Oh, no. Squat down. Switch. My strongest strength as a fighter is my heart. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know how to quit. So that's never been an issue with me. Once I get that white line, he's following me. Then I get on his back. You and I switch. For me, my teammates are my family, so to speak, because they are with me night and day. And uh, we really support each other. I mean, otherwise, it's a uh, no-win situation. How long did that take? 40 minutes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you like yeah. it. Yeah. My first president's <laughs> raccoon. Don't, 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 don't put your hand anywhere near don't, that. Yeah. Don't, yeah. <laughs> Good plan. Little no black people don't mess with wild animals.
Spencer is like a big brother to me. When I got down here, all he cared about was, you know, helping me improve and I could just tell that he wanted me to do better and he wanted the best for me. I'm really excited about this fight coming up. This is going to be the first time that my mom's ever seen me fight. All my friends being there, everybody from college, everybody I know in the town, my uncle will be there. My mom was like telling me, you know, instead of asking her to get engaged and live with a year, she's like, I think you should just go ahead and marry her. I was like, what? That's what I said. Man, I'm too young. You're too that. young to do that. No, you're not. I'd marry her, dude. Don't marry anybody yet. You marry her, dude. That's a good girl. Yeah, I know. It's all fun and games until you do it. I got uh, my ironing board over there. This here is my uh, my clothes drying rack. Whenever we come back from practice, I put all my sweaty clothes on that. Some uh, North Carolina green beans. My mom and grandma came to this. This is my dress. My dressers over here. They're rubber made. That's uh, top quality stuff and uh, real handy if you gotta move somewhere. I got a candle there to set the mood for the ladies whenever they come by. Starting on my third month, so I've been living down here for two months. I got everything I need down here. Perfect for training. That's all I need. Are they yeah. watching? Are they watching? No. <laughs> yes. yes, you do, you little rat. <laughs> Just like you don't like Josh Neer. I don't like him. Oh, somebody she really likes Josh Neer. Really? Emily. <laughs> Everyone that was at that show said it was the best fight that they've ever seen in person and a lot of them say that they've ever seen ever. I was like, man, this kid is tough and he, he's good. His striking is good. His jiu-jitsu is good. I always knew he's going to be in the UFC. I always knew he's going to fight at a high level. After we fought, I knew that day. Some of my friends thought that I won the fight. I kind of thought I did, but you know what? I was the one that got hurt that night. I was the one that my face was swollen for a month afterwards. I don't think he had too many bruises on him. After me and Spencer fought, he, he said, you know, you should come out here and train. And I started coming out and training a little bit. And then eventually I was like, oh, I just need to move there. I moved in with Spencer, lived in his basement, and we became good friends. Try to push his head and whatever got out of the body. That's right, no decisions. 
Ah, oh, God damn. I'm not fighting him, huh? God, I'm so sorry, man. It's all right. Hey, mm. shit happened, bro. Yeah. Here, hold that, hold that. I'll take you to the doctor. Okay. Realistic, I've been doing this all my life, you know, in one way or another, I mean, really, and I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of burnt out with it, man, you know, and I don't want to stay with it so long that my kids can't have conversations with me, you know, like, we were talking earlier, you know, we were, we were talking earlier about taking beatings, and <clears throat> I have a hard time remembering things that I, you know, I did when I was 17, 18 years old, and I can just imagine what that's going to be like in 20 more years. 10 more years. So I think getting out in the next two years and, and trying to do something productive, you know, that's something I want to do because that, that's when I'm going to be happy, whether or not I'm making a lot of money or not. I'm doing something I want to do.